That's a big South Texas white tail buck right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I'm walking to CRP Field in South Dakota near Hitchcock. I'm staying with a, with a buddy of mine who has Ringneck Retreat, Derek Cheddar. And let me tell you, it is one of the most fabulous log lodges I have ever seen. Incredible place. They have incredible numbers of pheasants in South Dakota. Perhaps the, the most there is in any state anywhere. And uh, we got a little problem and there's a lot of feed still in the field. It's wet, we may have to swim some of these fields. But I'm gonna tell you, we've seen some birds flying into this field already. This should be good. Let's get after them. Birds like to hold sometimes. Put them up, put them up, put them up. Hen! Hen. Hens like to hold too. All right, come on, here, up. Right here, tank rooster! Tank, here, come. Hey, play. Good shot, Jimmy. I like it. Rooster. Cock, cock, cock. Good shot. Fix him here, boys. Boy. Jimmy. Nice shot. Okay. Oh, look at those hens. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that's a cock there. <laughs> Pick him up, Tank. Oh, nice there was three or four hens got up there. That cock of mine come in. I mean, he just comes sailing over through there. It was Bring perfect, it here, right you know. here, Tank. One of the things that happens when you get in a situation here like I this am. is those dogs are getting the birds right up. Here. If you're just walking through here without dogs, you need labs, you need pointing dogs both. But if you're just walking through here just with uh, come on. Just by yourself, you're going to get a few birds up, but probably not anywhere like we're getting up right now. There's still a lot of birds in between us and the blockers down there. Oh, and I had two ideal shots in there. Those are perfect. That second was a pretty situation. Just wait, pull through that bird, pull out. Just as I, just as you clear the head, boom, man. That is so cool. Come up, Tank. You know, one of the things I like, Derek, is you're using both labs and pointing dogs. You know, I, I, I see a lot of hunters that. All they'll use is a pointing dog, and in a few is all they use is a lab, but I really believe for pheasants, you need both of them, don't you? Yeah, yeah we have the two short hairs and the one wire hair, and, uh, and, and then the labs. That way we can mix up the, the different types of dogs and uh, for the, all the hunters enjoy. Well, well, you need some dogs that'll really, you know, lock in on them and point. Of course, you know, after a lab watches a, a pointer point a little bit, they'll start pointing too. If they learn from them. But uh, the labs just, they're just better at finding the dead birds, I think. I mean, I've just always, I've always had both, but. Uh, yeah, they all have their strong points. I like having both of them out here in the field, though. Makes it enjoyable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cock! Cock! can't believe I missed him. <laughs> he got up at my feet. Well, don't worry. No one will ever know but you and me. Because I won't ever tell anybody. Yeah, it's your thing. No, no one will ever know. <laughs> Just my, our secret, okay? Right here, come. Good job. Come here, right here, Cash. Come. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Nice young South Dakota rooster. Not much, but a little bit. Good shooting, Jimmy. Thank you. Lucky shot. I don't believe it was all luck. <laughs> Bird flew right into that pattern. Cock, cock, cock. Woo! In. In. Get him, Cash. Get him. Bring him here. Good boy. Good dog. Bring him here, Cash. Cock way behind. Good, here, here. Good boy. Good boy. 
He didn't go anywhere, did he? We got him. He didn't go anywhere, did he? That's why I didn't go with the bird. I backed off the edge because I thought if he's running, it won't do me any good to be there. But he stayed right where he hit. I like that. Find a bird, Hooch. Cash, find a bird. Hunt him up. Rooster! That first one's hit really hard. Rooster! Shoot inch! Don't have any bullets. Oh, Here, Dibber, 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 find this bird. <laughs> it is amazingly wet. It rained all night long. And these fields are really wet. I was in water back there that was like six and eight inches deep for about a hundred yards. And you know the amazing thing is I was in that water about six inches deep and a hen got up almost right at my feet. She must have been swimming for all I know. But uh, we topped that hill right there and this is so wet here and so wet on the other side. The other side of that hill was where that, and there was birds everywhere. There was just lots of birds in there. And, uh, and we, I think we killed three or four or five right there. But uh, the fields are so wet, you'd think these birds couldn't be running around in it. They actually will run right into the water. I've never seen fields this wet pheasant hunting all my life. But, uh, but it holds the water good, and that's one reason there's a lot of crop still in the field too, is they can't get in here with their equipment to cut the corn or to combine the, the peas, the beans. So, but uh, boy, the dogs are working incredible, aren't they? At, uh, I probably wouldn't have found that bird, even though it dropped stone dead. I probably wouldn't have found it, but the dogs got it. Uh, we got about eight hunters today, so we're allowed 24 birds, and we're going to get them. We're going to get them. Jimmy Houston Adventures, America's most exciting outdoor show, is brought to you by Morel Targets, technologically advanced archery targets, by U.S. Reel, when performance means everything, by Blakemore Roadrunner, you can't fish them wrong as long as you fish them slow, and by Duracell Marine RV Batteries, start stronger, troll longer, Duracell. A name you can trust. Find that bird. Rooster! God dang. <laughs> Somebody shot straight. Somebody didn't. <laughs> can you believe those birds are holding? Six or seven hunters got them surrounded here and they're still holding in there. That is so cool. You gotta watch even on these edges. I've had them, like right there where that Chevy truck's sitting, I've had them run out between me and that truck, right on the edge of where it breaks over from the thick to the thin, because they'll run out and if there's nobody there, they'll just run right across this road and be in that big field over there. These are big CRP fields, which is where actually they, uh, they leave it in native grasses. They leave a lot of this in native grasses and, and uh, it's a big government program been going on for years. I don't know how, how it works this year, but. Uh, they, uh, they normally pay the farmers a little bit per acre to, to actually not farm it. And uh, it's fantastic for the pheasants and deer and all the wild game. And uh, it has just natural, you know, South Dakota grasses all over it. Great stuff for them to eat. God made it right. Tank, up. Come on, Tank. Here. Come, Tank. Here, here. Come. Mighty cash, hunt him up. Rooster! That's a good shot. They let both barrels go. <laughs> Rooster! What the first shot was. Second shot worked. <laughs> I think I just must have shot behind him. Bingo. <laughs> I should have maybe let him get a little bit further, but I don't even I could afraid it might pull off. So I went ahead and shot. <laughs> Come on. That's what you call getting up with your feet right there. Right here. 
That's a gold rooster right that's there. Old there. That's the old bird there. That's the old bird guy there. Yeah, nice big mature one. That's a pretty bird. I'm trying to just clip the top of his head. How'd I do? Good. He's <laughs> real good. Oh, good shot. He's got legs. Well, I don't know. He didn't go down too He's hard. got legs. He didn't. He yeah, went he down with legs. The dog's going to have to get him. Oh, it's a hen. I'm sorry. That's all right. Hey, I thought that. Look how long her tail is. I sure thought that was a cock when it Who's came got up. That I bird? got her butt killed. Good the boy. Dog good boy. Good boy. All right. That's a good tree. That bird would have got away without those dogs, I promise you. We wouldn't find that one. No, we wouldn't have found that bird. That's a good shot. A long way out there. Oh. Thick as this Rooster. is. Rooster! Oh! <laughs> Woo! Man, it's so thick, boy. I don't see how that bird got up here. Bet you're here! Look at this, you can't hardly walk him. He got up, but he went back down. Took two, three shots. To right get here, Cash. <laughs> Pardon? What's that? Good shot. Stay with it. Mark it. Mark it. Oh, good shot. In. In. Rooster. Got a legs all. Watch him going down. Maybe not. Oh, he died. Did he go he down, crashed. Jimmy? He crashed. Right, go. In. Rooster. Cock, cock, cock. There you go, Jimmy. Pick him up, Tank. Get him. Jimmy Houston Adventures is brought to you by Yum! Start a feeding frenzy. By Booyah! Say it loud, say it proud. By Mercury, number one on the water. By Lynch Game Calls, the tradition continues. And by Totoflage, get a jump on the prey. I hope it's a big crappie. I believe it is. <laughs> oh. I believe it is a slab dad. Slab daddy. Slab daddy right there, buddy. Who's your slab daddy? <laughs> That's me. Oh. Break your line. Oh, man. Woo, who's your slab daddy? <laughs> Jim, if people don't like crappie fishing, brother, I'm telling you. They need to go see the doctor. Even those that don't go like see Dr. Slab Daddy like right here. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. There he be. There he Come be. Come on, Jim. Come to me, guy. Come to me, big old crappie. Ooh, that feels pretty good. Look at that ball. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, good. Night. Oh. <laughs> Oh, does Whoa. that one feel good? <laughs> no wonder he felt good. Oh. There's a long way between his head and tail. Gunnis. Gunnis, come here. That is a thick fish. If you'll just open your mouth, you and I get together here. This won't take long. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Oh, the hook Roadrunner just fell right out. Look at that fish, buddy. Look at the mouth on that guy. I mean, that is a big fish. Woo! See you later, baby doll. See you later, honey bunny. Wally. Man. That's what I'm talking that's about. That's the big fish of the day. I that's that what I'm talking about. I might have to put on one of them John Deere or Deer John. Deer John.
When I do a lot of seminars, people come to me and say, Wally, can the fish actually see uh, or determine the color of the bait? No, they can only see shades. But it seems like crappie key to a lot brighter colors, a lot of opaque colors. Oh, ooh. Have you got, got a, a, have hole, you got a dog on there? Have you got a dog on there? Man, I believe you got you it bent over. Ooh, well, I tell you, I ooh. love to catch fish in clear water. Look at that, look like at that hog. Watch him swimming around down there, that oh. bait in their mouth. <laughs> Come here, pumpkin. And act like he's gonna jump like See, a bass, I changed that it? color, Jill. I changed colors with that. Oh. You got a bass fishing color on there, blue and chartreuse. Oh, baby. You know, one of my favorite color, color turbo tail is a black and chartreuse which is a bass color. That's the one I needed, boys. <laughs> that and that other this morning. You keep thinking about that, don't you? Oh, man. You know, just winning a national you, championship and crappie fishing, man, that's the deal. You can't, you keep on, you can't get over it. Oh, I seen, just, I seen a guy on TV one time do that. <laughs> I've seen about <laughs> millions of people do that. Look at that hog, look at. You learned that, did you? You learned that. That fish is at least 17 inches. It's 15 and a half inches up to my elbow and it's past that. Oh. Elbow to elbow. Oh, thank you, Lord, for letting me catch that. There we go, Ooh. Wally. I told you, just stay with me, Wally. I'll keep you in the fish. You don't, whoa, whoa, whoa. If that's a crappie, son, he's a world record. If that's a crappie, he's I think a world that's a record. Green Look at trap. him go. Look at that fish go. That might be just a big old bluegill. <laughs> What do we have, Wally? I a big don't know. Catfish? I can't see. Oh, here's what we have, Wally. Looky here. That's what happens. You put that bass color on it. Looky there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Come here, feller. That's a five-pound bass. Come here, feller. Ah! <laughs> Look at the belly on that guy, will you? Look at that. <laughs> he looks like your cousin. <laughs> Easy now. Y'all and him been bellying up to the same breakfast table. Look at that. No fat jokes. Man, I didn't tell any fat jokes. I just said, look at the belly on that bass. Hey, I love it, man. That's my signature. My sugar booger. Wally, I'm glad you got that blue and chartreuse out. It Is started the bass biting. We ain't caught a bass all day long. You put your blue and chartreuse. Oh, they're not biting your bait, are they? <laughs> oh, 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 hey, wait a minute. They're not biting the blue and chartreuse. They're biting the dear John. Come here, dear John. Watch Man, that's, that's, that's a, nice, a hog right there. A nice fish right there now. I want you to look at how fat he is. Jimmy, we're crappie fishing, man. <laughs> and you catching them big Wally, we're fishing, man. <laughs> Just anything. Like Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love anything that a Oh, I love you. I love you too, Jimmy. <laughs> I know you do, baby. Can't resist them. This portion of Jimmy Houston Adventures has been brought to you by Tracker Boats. Call 1-800-TRACKER today. Closed captioning for Jimmy Houston Adventures is provided by All Day Energy. Catch the energy. I hope it is. <laughs> I don't think it is. It probably is a big old crappie, though. <laughs> no, it's bad. No, it's one of them. <laughs> what is this called, Jimmy? I call them bass. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. said you got the bass fishing color on there. Oh, man. Yeah, I call them bass. How do you lip one eat? Huh? Put your tongue in their mouth. Oh, I no. I mean your thumb. Your thumb. <laughs> Pretty doggone nice fish, Wally. Woo! You bragging at Ray Roberts yesterday, that's the biggest bass you ever caught with Jimmy Houston. Now you can't say that. That is the biggest bass that I ever caught biggest. with Jimmy Houston. That may be the biggest bass you ever caught. No. no. No? All right. I'm just checking you out to see. Ooh, I, I got it one. In there. I got one. You catching all them bass. This is what we're fishing for right here. Yeah, this that is, is it. That is a good one. This is it. Yes, mm -hmm. it is a good one. 
Oh, yeah, it's a good one. That old Wally's, is... old Wally's used 12 different colors back there today, and I've stayed with old dear John. And that's all that's happened all day long, just crappie after crappie after crappie after crappie. What'd you do with that real magic? Oh, there you go. One of the cool things about fishing with Wally is uh, he's a little bit like me. You never know what the sucker's going to say. And, uh, and most of the time when he says something, you don't know what he said. <laughs> so not only do you not know what he's going to say, you know what he said after he said it. And, uh, but, but he has fun. And that's the key deal. You know, uh, to me, you know, I fish for a living and I fish many, many tournaments for 40 years. And, and you, yeah, you have to get serious in tournament fishing. You really have to try to concentrate and keep up your hand. But even when I'm tournament fishing, I gotta be having fun, and, and I enjoy fishing with people that are having fun. It is a crop. Kind of pulling like a bass. No, baby, look at this, look at <laughs> look at there. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's jumping like a bass. Ooh. He does have the body of a crappie. Oh. In fact, not, most, most crappie don't have that kind of body right there. Most crappie do not this have that kind of body. This is a monster. That is a big boy right there. Oh. That is a full grown bass, or crappie. Whew. I saw a bass come up out Folks, here. Got my, got my heart set on bass. This is a real Woo, two look and a half pound black crappie. <laughs> oh. yeah, that's a crappie. Man. That is a crappie. Big time. Look how them black crappies got them big old dorsal fins. Beautiful, aren't they? Mm hmm. They go wide pretty, 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 when their pretty. tail is wide as your hand, folks, that's how you can tell on TV. I won't even have to, I can hold this one back <laughs> here.